His Excellency Vladimir Putin, our dear host and president of the Russian Federation, Your Excellency Azalia Asmani, President of the Union of the Comoros and Chairperson of the African Union, Your Excellencies, African Heads of State and their representatives here present, Your Excellency Musa Faki Mahamad, the Chairman of the African Union Commission, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure to have been given the opportunity to make remarks during the 2023 Russia-Africa Economic Forum. Special thanks to His Excellency President Putin, whose, uh, his government and the people of Russia for demonstrating once again the strong bond of friendship and partnership between the Russian people and the African people, even in the midst of unprecedented global challenges. Your Excellencies, when we met in Sochi in 2019, during the first Russia-Africa Economic Forum and Summit, we committed to systematically pursue stronger trade and investment ties between Russia and Africa, to reset socio-economic relations on the foundations of the solidarity formed during Africa's struggle for independence in the 1950s and the 1960s. We projected moving two-way trade to closer to $40 billion by 2026. Your Excellencies, in the four years to 2021, the trade flows reached almost $20 billion, from about $10 billion five years earlier. These are despite the COVID-19 pandemic and other significant global difficulties. With a strong partnership between our Frexin Bank and Russia Export Center, we expect a doubling of the trade flows in the next four years. Some progress is being made, and we believe that this is achievable. The global food security challenges have brought to the fore the critical role trade with Russia plays in guaranteeing Africa's food security. A significant proportion of African economies depend on Russia for the supply of fertilizers, and 30% of African cereal imports are from Russia. Ensuring that these trade flows continue remains a priority of our Fraxin Bank and its African member states. That is why in the context of the unprecedented global uncertainties, Africa Bank has been working with the African Union Commission, the United Nations system, and our Russian partners to use an e-commerce platform called the Africa Trade Exchange to facilitate seamless flow of goods and payments in any currencies the sellers and buyers choose, and in a transparent manner. The present bank is able to offer trade services, SE confirmation facilities, and payment services under that platform. It also offers other banks the opportunity to participate in supporting the trade. The Africa Trade Exchange is a platform which we use to pool African demand for grains and fertilizers, against which Africa Bank has placed an aggregate credit limit amounting to $3 billion to support the trade. The $3 billion represents what is available and can be used on a revolving basis 
to support the significant demand for food and fertilizers today on the continent of Africa. We look forward to continuing this effort with our Russian partners and using this platform to ease access to grains and fertilizers. Every day, 300 million Africans go hungry. And it is important that we all do our best to make sure that until we begin to achieve food sovereignty, that we ensure that food security is attained. Beyond the immediate food security priorities, a Fresen Bank and the Russia Export Center are collaborating to promote trade and investments in other critical sectors, with an emphasis placed on those activities that will help integrate the African economy and advance the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. A Fresen Bank stands ready to offer its array of products to support investments in agriculture, industrial parks, health, and other critical infrastructure. Through partnership with the Russia Export Center, African Bank will be able to support African investors also who are willing to exploit the opportunities in Russia. So while we welcome the investments from Russia into Africa, we also hope that African investors can look into Russia because it is when we have two-way investments that we can accelerate trade flows and economic integration. Your Excellencies, by the end of, the second, of this second summit, I hope that Russia and Africa will have strengthened their solidarity, laid the foundation for rebuilding the supply chains for grains and fertilizers trade between Africa and Russia, which is today a bit broken. And this is important so that the billions of dollars in the trade can continue. I was very happy when His Excellency President Putin spoke about all the arrangements being made to open new trade routes that will make it easier for this trade to go on seamlessly. I hope we also find common grounds to explore the tremendous investment opportunities in Africa opened by the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement. Your Excellencies, Less than 20 years ago, Russia was a net importer of food. Today, Russia accounts for 20% of world exports of grains. We hope that the new partnership we are forging with Russia under the Russia-Africa summit will make it possible for Africa to attain the same goal in a very short time. I thank you for listening.